Hey guys, Mel the Train Tutor back with another realistic rock tutorial for you. Uh, we've done this one previously and we did the acrylic stippling with the tinting in yellow and the, and the washes video. Yeah, really good technique, but there's other techniques and we're exploring them now. And this technique is purely down to the washes. Now with the, with the acrylic stippling, we started dark and lightened it up by base coating and then painting up, etc. Yeah, and then applied our various colors. With this one, we're going to sort of, sort of do it differently. We're going to use the whiteness of the rock. Now this is a crystal cal cast in a uh, woolen scenics rock face mold, okay? So what are you gonna need for this? Well, we're gonna turn this into a realistic rock. So you're gonna need some gray, yeah? Just standard uh, household emulsion or latex paint if you're in the US. And then acrylic wise, we've got some black, a little bit of green and a bit of burnt umber. Yeah, I'm not sure if the burnt umber is dark enough. We'll have a play, we'll see how we go. On top of that, yeah, I've got some high quality H2O. Yeah and we need to crack on. So, first thing we're gonna do is, because this is a wash, we need to be able to move pigments around it. Now, with plaster, if it hasn't been sealed or base coated, one of the issues you have is when you put a wash down on it, you'll get staining, and that's where the powder, the cast sort of absorbs the moisture and sucks it in and sucks the pigment in with it and sticks it so you can't manipulate it, which is bad, yeah? So, what we need to do is we need to just give this a bit of a coat. Yeah, and all I'm doing is I'm getting this sort of, my clean water from the other side yeah, and giving it a quick coat. Da, 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 da. There we go. Now it's not about soaking it as such, it's about letting the plaster absorb the moisture. Okay, so you don't want big puddles everywhere, you just want it damp. Yeah. Yeah, now you'll notice I've got the rock on a slope. That's because this technique is actually from the railway guys. Yeah, and it's designed to be worked on pieces that are built, yeah, because it the, the pigment runs. If you are working on a piece where you've got a piece of terrain and you're doing this, you might want to put some tissue at the bottom to catch any excess. But I'll be perfectly honest, there isn't, doing it this way, there isn't much excess. Now, the railway folk, they tend to use sprays, okay, to do this, and it works perfectly fine, but they have really big rock faces. Yeah, for us, we really need to drop down to a brush, or if you are gonna do sprays, you need to be looking at something like an airbrush. But to start off, what we're gonna do is gray paint. Yeah, put a blob on there, like that, and then get some high quality H2O. Yeah, just water. Yeah, flush it out, give it a good stir. Yeah, and you can see the paint sort of bittying up yeah, as it breaks down. Give it a good mix till it all breaks down. Or at least 90%, you know what I mean? Yeah. Next, clean your brush out. Okay, that's because there's still raw paint in it and you don't want to get raw paint on it. You just want to use washes. Yeah, so we come in with the wash and we just soak it up and we just apply it. Yeah, you can see how because we've already saturated the rock with water, yeah, we don't need a flow aid, it just runs naturally. Yeah, because it can't sit in anywhere. Yeah, it, it's like it's already pre-greased by having the water on it. Yeah, so all we're going to do is come along, give the entire rock face a good covering. Turn that around a little, yeah? That's better, isn't it? Right, as you can see, yeah, we've given it a, essentially a light stain. Now what I can do is I can darken that up by just adding extra layers, yeah, where I think it's a bit too bright, yeah? Because it's really thin, this will dry really quickly. The only places where it won't dry quickly is where it pools, obviously. So there's collections there, 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 and there. But that's okay because it allows us to wet blend. So I wanna darken this side down as well because that's a bit excessively bright. Right, now let's darken it down some more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our black. Yeah, and I'm gonna use this brush now, okay? And we're going to get just a little bit of our black on our brush. Because I don't want much. Yeah, and then we're going to mix it in with our grey. I don't want much, I said. Because he makes it really grey. So we'll use this lot up here. Give that a clean out. Because I only need some spots on this. Once again, I don't want any pigment on my rocks, any neat paint. So I'm coming up to the top and I'm grabbing it from there and I'm making sure my brush is nice and clean. 
Yeah, and all I'm going to do is come in and where I want to get some extra darkness into it. Yeah, I know it looks pretty dark, doesn't it? Don't panic. Yeah, it's all good. Let's get some in there. Let's get some on there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now you say this, this bit looks a bit excessively dark. So let's get some just water. Let's give it a bit of a scrub. Because it's not pit fixed, because we've saturated it, we can manipulate it to where we want. And all of a sudden, that starts to look rather spanking. Yeah, let's darken that down a bit. Yes, yes, yes. Up across the top. Yeah. Let's darken this down a bit because it's a bit excessive there. Right, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carry on and I'm going to carry on picking bits out to darken up. So there we have it. I've got my shade and I've put my dark patches in. Yeah, the important thing is it's not uniform. Yeah, I'm not applying this. You know, with the first one, we applied it across the board to get our first tint. With the darkening, I'm looking to get patches. Variation is realistic. Okay, uniformity isn't when it comes to rocks. Well, there's always an exception to the rule, isn't there? But do you know what I mean? Right, let's carry on. And next job, I want to start defining some of these cracks out and get some real shadow in it. So in that case, what I'm going to do is back to my black. You know, a little bit of extra water just on this bit here, because I'm not going to need much. I said a little bit of extra water, not Krakatoa. In fact, let's get a bit more paint on that. Nice and strong. Yeah, so I mix that in there. I'm not going to put that on, am I? Yeah, give that a clean off. Yeah, put a bit more water on that. Let's thin that down a bit. See, this is the artist in me, mixing me paints and making it look so beautiful. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. I know the sort of artist you are, Bose. I used to be. <laughs> right, so... Crack time. Now, when you put this on, because the brush is loaded, it will flood. So, first few places, pick some big places. Yeah. Yeah, and you are looking at all the cracks where you want to get some real nice shadow on it. Yeah. Now, much like with the other ones, we can use our, just our bog standard water. And we can blend these out a bit. Yeah, which will still give us the shadow. Yeah, yeah. If you've got too much water on it, wipe the excess off your brush. Yeah, like that. Come along, put it in, and it will suck up the excess. Okay, and then you can just wipe it off and then come back. So it is very much we're going to blend out these cracks now where I've put these in. Yeah, I know where they want to be, but I need to blend them out a little. Yeah, and then put a few more in. And there we go. Right, as you can see, straight away, just a base grey, a mix of grey and a little black, and then a bit of spotting with the black to define the edges, and already it's looking like this. But we're not done yet. Right, it's monochrome, it's greys and blacks and whites, okay? So we need a bit of colour in there, and for that, uh, we've got some uh, burnt, burnt umber. Yeah, just a little we need. Come on, out you come. Come on, out you come. There you are. Let me spin that round so you can see what I'm doing with it. Mm -hmm. Don't want to chip me rock face, do I? Yeah, so I've got my burnt umber, a bit of water. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Come down here, you. I need you up here. I don't want you contaminated with black. Let me see what it's doing. So. Let's get some more water on there. Dirty water, that is, folks. I know it's dirty water, it's alright, chillax. We're good. There we go. Yeah, clean my brush off as before because I don't want to get any direct pigment straight on it. I, when I say pigment, paint. Yeah, washes only on this. So once again, much like before, yeah, the first one is going to come flooding out. So we want to put it where you'd expect to get browns. 
yeah, which is where the dirt would catch first off. Okay, then we need to give it a bit of a blend out. Yeah, so it becomes more of a tint than an actual colour. So taking it, ooh, I've mixed it there. I didn't want to do that. It's mixed with the black. You naughty boy. Right, let's get some in here. Yeah, now we've got some large splodges there, so I'm going to put a splodge there. I'm going to put a splodge there, a splodge there. Yeah, and then, once again, I'm just going to brush them out. Yeah. Smooth them out. Take out any real major excess that I don't want in particular areas. Yeah, this is more about, and then take the little bit of excesses and just dab them here and there. Yeah, look for where it isn't quite working. Yeah, aye, it's too bare or something like that. So let's get a line down there, yeah. Yeah, and then feather that out. Yeah. Bit under here, it'd be dirty under there, wouldn't it? Yeah, really dirty. Sort of dirty I like. Calm down. So, let me bring this one in here. Yeah, we'll put a bit more there around there. That's pretty. It's a pretty rock, isn't it? Yeah, a bit more on here. Yeah, da, 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 da. Ooh, but, uh, we've, we've sort of left that bit there, haven't we? Yeah, we need to get some over here, don't we? Yeah. Maybe a little bit around there. And then, same, same deal, yeah. Nice clean water. Let's just feather that out before it sticks. We don't want it sticky, do we? Yeah, let's clean that off before it gets a bit excessive. Now, brown isn't the only colour you can do this sort of stuff with. Yeah? You can obviously mess around with various different browns. You can all make, play around with all sorts of hues and colours when it comes to rocks. Because trust me, yeah, go onto, onto Google and type in funny coloured rocks. Yeah, and see what sort of colours rocks come in. All sorts, yeah. Right, the last thing that we need to do, yeah, is a little bit of green. Yeah, just for a, a bit of con. Ooh, not too that much. Yeah, so about that much. Yeah, once again, we're going to do the plate thing. Now, once again, we're going to clean our brush out. And we're going to put some water on that. Give it a good mix. It's going to drop down there eventually, but we can be able to drag some of that up there. Yeah. Da -da -da. So, a little bit of green. Now, once again, we've got this flooding issue. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my little bit right under here so we don't have any problems. And all I'm going to do is along here, along the bottom. Yeah. Not sure this was the right shade of green, guys. Mel may have made a boo boo, but we'll give it a go. Let's thin it out and drag it off. So we've just got a hint of green. Yeah, a little bit, just a couple of touches up here as well. Let's get some green into these dark, horrible creases. Need to feather these back as well. Before that becomes way too strong. Yeah, yeah that's all right. A little bit of up here, I think. Yeah, just a touch. Yeah, a little bit there. Definitely some up here. Clean that off. Yeah, thin it down. Not that much. Yeah, there you go. Just to break up the brown. Yeah, and then finally, let's get back to our black. Because that's a bit too light at the bottom. So let's really have some fun with this down here. Yeah. I'll bring the green down a bit. There you are. Take that green. And then let's feather it off. When you're feathering, it's really important you regularly clean your brush because what will happen is as you feather, you will collect pigment. Okay, and when you collect the pigment and then you start to feather it, you're actually moving it around and you actually start painting with washes. So, as I said, this is very much 
you know, a feather it, take the excess off your brush so it's nice and clean, and go back to feathering. But I reckon, yeah, I like that. Not quite sure on the green, to be truthful. Maybe I should have gone a touch darker. It doesn't look quite mouldy. But it's good enough. So, there you have it, guys. Yeah, do you like it? Dead simple, eh? I mean, let's be honest, you followed the techniques, it's just washing, it's just the idea of first saturate the cast so that, you know, it can't absorb and stain, yeah, then put your overall wash on, then put in your dark areas, yeah, start picking out your cracks and your real dark areas, come in with your browns to break it all up and then a little bit of green to add, add a bit of nature in there. But that's it, another realistic rock face done takes no time whatsoever as you've seen and you can understand why with the really big displays the railway guys just hit it with a spray yeah us war gamers we're a little bit more pr precise with our terrain making you know it's because we don't have to do like you know 24 foot displays <laughs> can't you do this over 24 foot <laughs> so guys as always yeah that's another rock, rock face tutorial down for you yeah there are more coming yeah because there's more techniques i want to share and this is the best way of sharing them yeah Above all, yeah, if you've got any questions, fire them in, in the comments. If you've got any uh, comments, any advice, any techniques you think I should check out or, or to show or anything like that, in the comments, like it, share it, as always. But above all, guys, if you really do like this stuff, then consider that patron thing, yeah? It's only $1 a month, it's not even enough to buy a brew or even a pork pie or a pint, yeah, but it makes a difference. It gives me the time to film these, to edit these up and to share these techniques with you guys and get all of us making better scenery. So, if you like it, please consider supporting it. And if you're not up for the $1 a month thing and you don't like regular stuff or PayPal or, you know, you know, I, you know what I mean, you don't like the regular stuff, remember you can always just PayPal a couple of quid over and buy me a pint to say thanks, yeah. It's all gratefully received. Details are in the description, guys. Right, in the meantime, there you have it, guys. Yeah. A rather spanking job. I quite like that. Right, guys. I will see you. If I don't see you in another tutorial, I'll see you at 9 o'clock live UK time. Yeah, on Sunday. Yeah, for the live show. Catch you then, guys. Ta-da.